Welcome back to your DR Homeowner Maintenance 101. In this segment, we're going to be going over your air exchanger, your fresh air intake pipe, and the controller of your air exchanger. This piece of equipment basically takes air in and out of your house, basically refreshing and using air from inside your house, sending it out and bringing in fresh air. Um, in this segment, I'm going to explain to you how to operate it, how to clean it, um, and what the benefits are of it. This is the most important piece of equipment in your house. This is the lungs of your house. If you do not clean this or maintain this, you basically constrict the air of your house coming in through this system, and then you will have air and moisture coming through any imperfection, any hole or crack or crevice that is in the envelope of your house. And by meaning envelope, envelope is the energy efficient envelope of your house where your insulation and your poly, plastic, that holds that behind the sheetrock. On the outside of your house, you have two silver vents that will say intake. One that says exhaust. One exhaust, one intake for this, and one intake for your fresh air pipe, which I'll tell you, tell, talk to you later about. In the case of this, this is the easiest thing to maintain, it's the easiest thing to clean, and the easiest thing to operate, but it is the most important. So, this is a energy recovery ventilation system. Some of your friends or family might have a humidity recovery ventilation system. And in that case, there's a tube that comes down for condensation. This unit does not have that. Why do I tell you that? It's a little bit different maintaining this than it is theirs. So to open, I'm just going to reach up here and unlock the clasps. Watch yourself with the door because the door will come sliding down. And this is the inside of your air exchanger. If the air exchanger is running, when you open the door, there is a kill switch right here that will stop the air conditioner from running, or air exchanger from running, and basically let you maintain and clean it as you open the door. The instructions here by the manufacturer are listed. This is going to tell you every three months you should clean your air filters. I want you to clean it once a month. Every time you go to your furnace, which we described in a different section about maintaining your furnace filters, replacing those once a month, when you replace that furnace filter, I want you to open this door. I want you to come over here and visually look at it every month. In the winter months, you're not going to see dust, you're not going to see mosquitoes, you're not going to see gnats or cotton seeds or any pollen, because there's nothing really floating around in the air in the winter. But in the summer, with the two in intakes on the outside, maintaining those screens and keeping those screens clear of any grass clippings, dust, dirt or anything like that, and then also maintaining this, will help you operate the system correctly. And as easy as maintaining it is basically it's a vacuum. That's all you need to really do. So I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to reach in here, and I'm going to pull up this little hanger. This little hanger is just a compression hanger that I can push up and down, which will basically expand and contract. In some of the air exchangers, there will be two of these on the bottom and two of these on the top. And then what you'll do is you'll basically pull out this filter and vacuum. Vacuum both sides along with vacuuming the top one. And in this filter system, here's the second one. In the smaller ones, in our town homes or other uh, smaller homes, we only have one set of these, the filter is smaller. But basically vacuuming this. Once you're done vacuuming this one, you can pull this one out and vacuum this one also. Then I would like you to vacuum, vacuum, and go all around this core and vacuum it clean. If it's not dirty in the winter, you shouldn't have to do it. But if it's dirty in the summer, I definitely want you to do it. And then when you're done with that, take this filter after you vacuum it, put it back in the same way you took it out with the orange facing, tuck this back in here. It's easy. Grab your hangers, pose those down, slide this one all the way to the back, slide this one all the way in. Repeat the process in the same on the top, and you're good to go. Remember, this is going to tell you every three months. I'm going to do it tell you every time you open up the door. DR Horton's warranty, if we, if we come into your house, the warranty gentleman or the job suit, will actually try to sneak down into your basement with you to make sure that you're cleaning this and maintaining it correctly because, again, this is the most important piece of equipment in your house. You never want to be as dark as this. You want to be nice and clean as that. And it will help you for the life of your house both aesthetically and structurally. Basically, just shutting the door right now, putting the clasp back on, putting the clasp back on, locking it, 
plugged in and ready to go. Now on the outside of your air exchangers, you're going to see a little sticker. And this is the installation supplement by the state of Minnesota for testing. So in this house, based on the square footage and the amount of bathrooms, it's going to let you know you should run your air exchanger at 50% of the hour. Now, how do you control that and how do you operate that? Follow me.